What's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be checking out Dylan Brown's ant adventure that he made specifically to submit to the Epic Games Mega Jam 2022. Now, this is a personal project of his. With that being said, this is probably the most photorealistic gameplay I've ever played in my life. It's amazing. For having one person make this is insane. But enough talk. Let's press enter and let's go ahead and go in. Now we have the RTX 4090 with the Intel 10900, 10900K running this right now. It is three generations behind, but whenever I get enough money saved up, I'm going to get the 13900K with the 4090, okay? So here we are running it at 50 frames per second or so. Press M, look at the settings. It's 100% 4K. At epic settings right now hardware lumen ray tracing turned on and as you can see this looks incredible already uh, one of the cool things about this project is that Dylan Brown is the same person who created the anamorphic camera plugin that I made a video about a couple months back and he's actually using it right now so you can see this nice shallow depth of field vertical depth of field which is just beautiful in my eye now I saw some people thinking that the shallow depth of field was too much but to be honest I really like it because if you think about it if you're able to see this ant right now it's you're going to be using a macro lens and the shallow depth of field is going to be the right thing to do but i understand some people are just not used to it but then again dylan is trying new things which i really do appreciate so let's move around here uh, as far as the assets goes he's using the mega scan assets on this and then for the ant he got it from the ma marketplace which again is just crazy because everyone pretty much everybody has access to make something like this for free, which is bananas, right? Unreal Engine 5, Mega Scan Assets. So let's go ahead and continue on with the story. Oi, where do you think you're going, mate? If you want a bars here, you better play the bloody tile, mate. <laughs> I have no idea what he just said, but it says find somebody to pay the toll with. No, I did do a playthrough around here a little bit more because I really like this gameplay. It just lets you kind of explore without actually telling you where to go. I see majority nowadays in games, in RPGs, is they tell you where to go with an arrow or like a mark on the map, which is kind of boring. You know, back in the day, in an environment like this, you would really just explore it and then find your way. You would have a minimap, but it's not going to tell you where to go. So I'm going to try to make this jump, but it's a pretty hard jump, to be honest. It's not easy. Oh, see? I'm not really you I'm not really used to playing a game like this. It's it's this is new to me, to be honest. This is quite different. It's like a 2D side scroller 3D. <laughs> if that makes sense. Um but yeah, these mega scan assets just look amazing. You can download this, by the way. Go to the links. Um, I'm going to put the link in the description below so you can play around with it yourself as well. And look at this muffin. This muffin looks just incredible. All right. It's going to load for a second. I think it's just going to... I'm not sure what it did, but maybe it's loading me like a new game instance. But we're good to go. 65 frames per second at 5, 4K, not 5K, 4K. I have a 4K monitor recording it in 4K with a different computer. So, yeah, this looks great. Strike me sideways, you bought me a bloody muffin. Yeah, mate, go on through. I'll tell you what, I'm going to rip into this like a bloody semi truck does to a roo. <laughs> Now, as far as I know, Dylan works for a game studio, but in his off time, he does a lot of stuff with Unreal Engine 5. And it's funny enough because I told him he's the Poseidon and Zeus of Unreal Engine because if you look at his water simulation, this is incredible. And this is not, you know, Chaos, Niagara, uh, water simulation. This is Houdini exported, Alembic imported into Unreal Engine 5, which is, if you want photorealism, that's the way to do it. Um, un unless, you know, one day Niagara would be able to catch up to that. But that water, man, when I saw that water on Twitter, I was like, yo, you got to make a video on that. And he actually did. So go check it out. Um, he pretty much gives you an overview on how he made that water sim in Houdini and how he exported it and in imported it to Unreal Engine 5. But look at these assets, man. 
it's just it looks looks good now these to be honest these little artifacts you see in the uh depth to field uh, i'm not sure what those are but that's one of the really kryptonites of unreal engine is that depth to field right there when it gets too shallow you get those jagged edges i've seen those a million times it's pretty common so let's jump around here The way he actually lit this scene and, you know, post-color color corrected it, pretty much, looks really, really darn good. He is a pro, man. Yeah, you can see the blades of grass. Just gives you a little bit of artifact there. But like I said, that's very common. Um, and he does have this kind of underground area here. Because, you know, you have Lumen and Nanite and all that stuff working in here right now. So, I don't know why I did this right here. That's that's just so difficult. Um, but, he has Lumen, Nanite, every, everything. And I believe the foliage is Nanite as well. If I remember correctly. Because he made this with a Unreal Engine 5 main branch. You know, when it wasn't out yet. And he was testing it out. But... To me, it it works, bro. Good job. It looks pretty darn. It darn. It looks good. So, even for a freaking non-official release of Unreal Engine Five, you made this. It is this is amazing. Good stuff. I walk around here all day. This is so fun. Somebody give Dylan some money so he can make this into a full game, huh? Alright, so let's go crank some settings up because this is JS Films. We don't settle for normal. Okay, you're going to see that my frames per second now drops to 24 frames per second. So you can see here, but again, the quality... It's... It's just crazy, man. This is just insane. Oh, how good this looks. This is real life right here. And I know people are going to find something negative in this video. But at the same time, dude, this is one person. <laughs> Ain't no way. Ain't no way, bro. This is a talented dude that made this. I got nothing but respect. Look at that. I actually love that depth of field. And to be honest, I actually like Dylan's anamorphic plugin better than the native anamorphic camera. Um, but Sometimes it just doesn't work for me, his plug-in. I get some artifacts and some flickering and things like that in the uh, reflection side of things. I'm trying not to fall down, but I still want to kind of show y'all the water here. Oh, okay, no, this is blocked. Here, there you go. It's going a little bit wide. Maybe I can cross this here. I'm gonna try to do it carefully. There you go. See that water sim? It's beautiful, man. It's gorgeous. All right. Oh, get another end. Why don't you look like a trustworthy adventurer? Listen, I had in my possession the perfect slice of bread. It was a match made in heaven from a bunning snag that I grabbed yesterday. Unfortunately though, it got washed away in the damn river. Any chance you've seen a slice of bread around? Find a slice of bread. All right, so we have to find a slice of bread now. Let's look for this bread. OK, 
Okay. Let's go underneath. Should be a tunnel. Here's the underground. That's cool. You know what's cool is one day we're going to have a YouTuber who's going to have like millions of subscribers and they're going to be able to create their own game in Unreal Engine 5 because they're actually going to have the resources. And that, that's really what excites me about this platform. Because one day it's just going to happen, man. Um, you know, like Dylan. You know, Dylan, in time, if he gets enough resources, he's going to be able to pull off a nice project by himself. Obviously, hiring freelancers as well. That's exciting to me. Got some stairs here. The chair. And ladies and gents, we found his bread. I like the little dust as well floating around. Can I just fall down? Yes, I can. Cool. It's incredible, man. The lighting on this is so good, too, bro. I think there's an Easter egg here. If I can find it again. No, it's not in here. Oh, there it is. Down here. I got 13 frames per second right now, yo. Oh no, I don't want to fall down. Oh, here it is. Whoa, slow down, mate. This is mine. You see that jar behind me? Well, it's filled with the most valuable resource known to Ant. It's... <laughs> what they said. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's part of the fun when you can involve your kids in it. It's just so freaking cool. And I can't wait to get my kids involved in my Unreal Engine stuff. It's going to be awesome. That's cool. So cute. At the end of the day, it would be cool to pass that information down, you know. All right, let's see if we can find our way out. Shoot, no, I went the wrong way. It's all about. Actually, it's probably faster if I just jump down somewhere. And then it's going to restart from the beginning. So this is that. Let's see if I can find my way up. Okay, so we made it out. Let's go this way instead of crossing the log. Because there's actually more stuff right here. Let's jump up. He's going to be right there. And this is the final piece. You beauty. You really are a trustworthy adventurer. Just wait till Gary hears about this. He's not going to believe his eyes. Anyway, I'm off now. Gonna go grab my bunny snag, a slice of bread, and a bevo this arvo. Take care. Yep, and that's it. That is the end of the demo that Dylan Brown created. Again, if you want to check this out, or if you want to play with it yourself, I'm going to put the link in the description below. Uh, that being said, what, what did y'all think about this demo? What did y'all think about the graphics? Did it look good? Obviously, the 4090 is still not enough for this. You know, obviously, it's probably not optimized for games, but in two years' time, I'm going to be able to run this in max settings, real-time, WTF. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to wait for that. See y'all later.